Hello everybody and welcome back to Wavetail. My name is of course Constantine and when we left off in the previous episode we managed to defeat the crazy looking boss here in this crazy looking area here, the dark area. Now uh, this monster, I don't think we actually defeated it, uh, I think he just left on the water and I'm pretty sure we are gonna meet him again uh, in the future. So let's just make our way to the plaza next up. There we go. And of course I am gonna keep on using all these abilities here that I have. Just because, I guess, I'm going to get myself more energy to use in the shops. There you go, buddy. Oh, how did that work? <laughs> I don't know, but, uh... There we go. Oh, she's singing. Hmm. That was it's what my mom used nice. to say to me when I woke up with nightmares. Interesting. I, I really like that. I'm starting to kind of love the connection that we're going to have here with the shadow. Feels so good. All right. So, uh, of course, we got to make our way to the plaza here. Let's just see what the mayor and everybody's going to say. And then I'm going to focus on trying to get some other missions done. Oh, wait. Can I actually make my way all the way up here? Um, yeah, I've already been here before, so I don't have to go here anymore. I just wanted to go here for a second better because I thought that I would be able to get the axe from the top of the mountain, but it doesn't really look like you know. I still have to figure out what I'm supposed to find this axe. Hmm. Alright, let's keep on going then. Let me keep on looking around. Any axes around here? No. All right. What about on top of this building? Uh, I think I've already been to this one. I'm not 100% sure, but... Hmm. Yeah, I've definitely been here before, for sure. Now, let me just check this real fast. I'm still trying to figure out where I am supposed to look for that axe. Uh, although... Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like it's anywhere around here. Hmm. Alright, anyway, in that case, let me keep on going. Let me go through here. Oh! <laughs> just throw me on the other side, never mind. All right, there we go. And what I'm gonna do first of all, let me get myself something out of this. Why not? Because we do have quite a lot of coins that we can spend now. Hey, what did one ocean say to another? Nothing, it just waved. <laughs> oh my God, this guy has some really good uh, ocean-like jokes to tell us. All right, I wanna go to the shop. For something else, then pliers, be my guest. So, what I'm going to put on this time, let's see. Ah, oh, we can even change the color of the hair. <laughs> you know what? Let me go with the white hair. Why not? Let me also go with... Whoa. That looks awesome. <laughs> oh, this looks even better, though. The polka dot. Let's go with that. Actually, the doctor's mask. All right. Let me change the outfit with the leopard one. There's so many outfits, though. Look at this. I think I'm going to go with this one, actually. The zigzag. Ah, even this, the uh, flames. Let's go with that. There's so many. I don't even know which one I want to choose. And one of you guys told me in the comments in the previous one that you want me to go with the furry ears. So let me go with this one instead. Oh, the dry kelp hair red dye. This one is much better. Look at that. Ah, so it's still the foxy-like look, but... Different colors, I guess. Love it. Oh, and I think we are also unlocking new stuff as we keep on playing the game. Yeah, look at this. We got new helmets, new things. Look at that. The chili hats. <laughs> These are so cool. But I, I don't think I want to go with any hats. I think I really like the ears. Like the, I, I think I really like the foxy look. Swing by again whenever you want. All right. So we got this one going on. 
know. Let's see what these guys are doing, though. Mm -hmm. There you have it, Mr. Shagrank. Morris here has rerouted most of our power reserves to your island and the lighthouse. Don't worry about the plaza, we'll make do with what little remains. We've been through hard times before and we all know that we can all succeed when each of us does what we can. Yeah. Alright, see, I need to start revising these blueprints, stats. You go ahead and start transmitting the power, just follow this spark cable. We'll reconvene back home. Hmm. Alright, so I think she's gonna go back home to try to work on the project there. And I do see that I have an icon taking me to that spot over there for some reason. I'm not sure what that is. But I do see that the cable, right? I do see that the power cable, this one, is taking me back here. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I got to do here, though. Um, hold up, before I'm going to do anything, let me just make sure I chat with this fella again. And jump. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure, no, this is not the guy that wanted the power from, the uh, axe from me. I think it's another dude. But I'm not going to say no to more of these things. Alright, and I got to make my way inside here. Let's see. Alright, buddy, don't worry about it. So, he still wants his axe. Yeah, look at that. We activated the mission. We had to talk with him again. Uh, find Jack's axe. Hmm. Alright, anyway, I did look around a little bit, but unfortunately I did not find any axes, though. Um, I tried to find Jack's axe, but absolutely no luck. So, um... Anything around here, though? No, I'm pretty sure I've already been here before as well, and I looked over absolutely everywhere I know. So let me just go to this lighthouse, try to activate this one. Maybe we are going to be able to find it eventually around here somewhere. I don't even know. Uh, there's also like a small island over here I could go ahead and check out. Maybe the axe is going to be like on an island. I don't even know. Not to mention, we do have all these platforms around here that I could also, uh, that, that I could also go ahead and jump on. But I definitely don't see you no know, axe over there. So let me just try this island before I do anything else. And jump. There we go. I would definitely expect to find the axe on one of these islands, maybe like uh, like on a tree. I don't know. But it doesn't like this is gonna have anything. So let's just keep her going. Let me go towards the lighthouse here. I think we gotta get the power now. We gotta get the power rerouted to our island, to our home. And this one is gonna be one of them. And after this one, we're going to have to follow some other ones. So let's just see what this is all about. There you go, buddy. Alright. There's a little bit of baddies here that we got to take care of. Perfect. Not that bad. And the power that's going to have to go straight back to our home. Alright, hopefully that's going to work. And in the meantime, I just don't see anything else that we needed around here. Hmm. I think there is a little bit of goo. On top of this tower, right? Yep, yeah, it is. Alright, we got to get rid of the goo. Uh, I don't see any anything that we need here. But let's just turn this on. Alright, there we go. So this power has been rerouted. But of course, we have three more that we got to activate next up. So let's just keep on going. And I'm also going to keep on going on top of these buildings, on top of these islands, just to try to see if I can figure out anything else. I, I do have a feeling that the axe, that Jack's axe, is all the way back there. It's not really that far. I don't know why I feel like that, but... Anyway, I guess um, we're going to have to look later on. Oh, by the old central station then? Where? All I see is water. Oh, probably right under your feet. Too deep down for you to see. Was it like a, a station for sparks or something? <laughs> no, Shrimpy. For travelers. <laughs> a busy place. Trains coming and leaving. People hurrying to get their tickets. And a bakery with lovely armchairs called the Blue Sky Cafe. 
serve the best bagels in town. What did bagels taste like? Huh, better than crab, I can tell you <laughs> that much. I love it. The grandma is starting to be a little bit, uh, not so cranky anymore, eh? It definitely feels like she's not that cranky anymore. Alright, let me make my way up to the tower and activate it. I think next up we're gonna have to go to down one straight up ahead. Because we do have to activate three more of these lighthouses. So, let's see. At least these ones don't really have any enemies. They do have all this gloom. Kind of blocking my way, but no enemies attacking me. Alright, we got it. Perfect. That is done. From here, we gotta keep on going. Oh, wait, what is that? Never mind. And dive. Perfect. Oh god, <laughs> that's way too high up. Alright, give it a view. I was definitely expecting some enemies, though, to attack me on these areas, but... By the looks of it, it's all good. Uh, this one's gonna take me all the way to the top. I don't see anything out there that I'm gonna need to get. There we go. Oh god, dang it, I messed up. Let me try it again. No! <laughs> there we go, we got it, we got it. I mean, this is not really that difficult, I just have to leave her do her thing. There we go. And we're done. Perfect. Alright, and we got one more. And this one activated... Um, where? I mean, that's the way it came from, right? I gotta go there? Oh yeah, I think the last uh, lighthouse is gonna be in my house. So let's just keep it going. I am going to try to use these spots. Actually, this one is going to push me the other way around. Hmm. Well, in that case, let me go here. Oh, this is where the flag was taking me. I get it. Interesting, because in the previous episode, I saw this flag. And I had no idea why the game wanted me to go to it. Let's just check it out now, then. Hold up. What the heck? I'm getting stuck. There we go. Oh, it's her! <laughs> hey, we meet again! Look, I know things are a bit... a lot right now, but it's important to have some fun too, right? Fun charges your batteries! I found this awesome surfing route around the plaza. I, I think I've just about perfected it in my time on it. Uh, give it a go and see if you can beat me. Huh. I'm ready. <laughs> That's my girl! What? Are you kidding me? Look at this! Alright, let's do this then. Let's see if you can beat her. Alright, I get it, I get it. So we gotta grab all these timers here if I want to keep on going further because they are gonna give me extra seconds, of course. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, perfect. The only problem is that this is gonna take me all the way back to the plaza and I've already been there before. Oh god, I almost messed up. There we go, there we go. Almost missed that one as well. Come on, come on. We got this. We're so close. And of course, next up, we are going to have to jump in the water very soon. But... We have to grab a little bit of points. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this. Alright, we got 17 seconds. Oh, did we just make it? You know what? We made it! Guys and gals and non-binary pals, I present to you Siggy, the Surfing Spectacular. Well done. I, I didn't think you'd make it. Unfortunately, I, I don't have a medal for you, but here, take this. Yeah. And just you wait, I have more plans brewing. Uh, there we go. Well, at least she gave me more energy that I'm going to be able to use and uh, purchase more stuff. But that was pretty cool, though. Of course, it was the first time I did one of these races, and um, I had quite a lot of fun. Alright, I was just looking here to see if there's anything that I'm gonna miss if I leave. But by the looks of it, no, we're good. Alright, let's keep on going. So, uh, we gotta power up the final land house, which of course is gonna be the one back at my house. 
And I don't see any one of these things that we can use now in order to get faster. Alright, I think if I'm not mistaken, this is where we saved up our buddy. Yeah, it definitely is. And I did not want to get attacked by it, but that's fine. Come on. Almost there. Now, in the previous episodes, the music was a little bit too loud. Thankfully, I managed to lower it up a little bit. Uh, just so that we can hear the voices and the ambient music and everything. Ambient sounds, actually. Alright, there's definitely no axe over there. I can see right now that the mission with the axe has already disappeared, but I know exactly where I gotta go for that one, in case I'm gonna find it eventually. And this one's gonna turn the final one up. There we go. Grandma, there's something wrong with the last relay. Oh, oh it's not working. Thing always gets the hiccups. Mm. Reboot it and it should be fine. Control board's in the greenhouse. Ah, we gotta go inside here. Look at this. Apparently the greenhouse is gonna be a little bit underwater. What? I don't know why I feel this, but I feel like the shadow is actually her mom. Hey, mom. Rough day today. <sighs> it was a great day today. A oh, look at that. Friend. Is that gonna be her mom? Whoa. Oh, she gave me something. What is that? Is it like a necklace? Ah, uh, no way! She gave me her mom's necklace! Again, I'm curious. Is that her actually mom? I mean, that was kind of my theory, but I'm not 100% sure, though. All right, reboot the control board. First of all, let me get a little bit of lore here. Let's see what this is all about. Dinner for three, and not an ounce of crab or, s or seaweed. So odd. According to the date, it was Grandma's birthday. Hmm. Oh, we got Clement Clout, the very mayor of Strandville. Always dressed in a royal blue cape and smelling of cologne. He seems to want to fix things, but he definitely needs grandma's eyes on things to succeed. And also we got Andy, clown's very own chaperone. Has a nervous twitch on his mustache. He keeps a notebook ready at all times. Probably afraid he'll forget any of the clown's ideas. He seems to respect that man to, to a pandemic extent. Hmm. And if I turn Let's this on, there we the go. Trick. Travel to the sleepy triplets. Huh. Oh, I think the lighthouse. Yes, look at that. It's clearing up the path a little bit through the gloom again, uh, unlocking a new location. Interesting. Uh -huh. Hmm. The lighthouse will be alright for now. Uh -huh. But even if you direct the power, we've got this weapon, it still wouldn't be enough. Hmm. Maybe if we connected sleepy triplets to the grid and. Oh. Hmm. What's that around your neck? Hmm. Oh, I found it in the greenhouse. Oh. Hmm, I haven't seen that in a long time. Take good care of it, will you? Ah. Okay, I will. Promise. <laughs> good. Anyway, uh, seems like we are going to need more power, and there's tons of work left to do with these blueprints. Guess I have no choice but to let you recon triplets by ourselves. Uh, just don't do anything foolish, and you might just manage. Ah. And you come back here right away if things go bad, okay? Uh, you hear me, girl? All right, Grandma. But first of all, let me go ahead and get myself a little bit more lore. Ah, look at this. 
I really like it when Bane stops by with his deliveries. Sometimes, when Granny is busy, he gives me gossip from the other islands. Like, did you know that someone named Adrian got pregnant and refuses to tell anyone who, who the father is? Apparently, it's been the big talk for the months over in Sleepy Triplets. Hmm. Interesting. I have a feeling uh, that piece of lore there was not available for me to chat, to uh, read previously. But, let me just see if there's anything else around here that I'm supposed to grab. Again, do keep in mind that I'm still looking for the axe. Although, as I was saying, I have a strong feeling that it's probably not going to be around here anywhere. It's probably only going to be found uh, next to Jack itself. But, um, I'm pretty sure I looked over there and I couldn't see anything. Uh, let me see if I unlock anything from this fella. Is the shop not here? Oh, I gotta go in the front. Never mind. Right over here. <laughs> hey, buddy. What vegetable is forbidden on all ships? Leeks. <laughs> nah, not too bad, eh? All right, buddy. Let's see what you got for me today. So, we do have a new one. Look at that. The pinky pink hair dye. Huh. But I still like the red one, to tell the truth. I mean, the black one looks really good as well. I don't think I want these hats, though. Although they kind of look interesting, I don't think I want any hats. I think I like my character with the... Oh, no, the skeleton outfit. This is the one that I want. Yes, buy it. There we go. This looks so good. Although it's not Halloween anymore, I absolutely love the look of that one. All right, and the RSS hat. Interesting, but no. And the detective cap. <laughs> this looks kind of weird. I don't want that. Ooh, the spark yellow hair dye. And the cotton candy and lemon. There's so many hair dyes. I could go with this one to have it match with the uh, outfit I, that I just got. But I think I'm going to like the red one a little bit more. <laughs> Pumper hat and... Oh my god, this one looks epic. The toothy hood. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the look that I have right now. This looks really good. So far, this is kind of my style. Alright, let's see. So, next up we got to go to... Let's check the map. Uh, Sleepy Triplets. Where's that one, though? Um, oh, I think it's this way, yeah. Alright, let's see what we're going to be able to find on this side, then. And while we're at it, I'm just going to go to the Ferris wheel for a second, just to see if I'm going to be able to find anything else, but I'm pretty sure we already got everything that we needed. Man, but I really, really love the outfit that we just found here. It's really good. I mean, look at this. This looks really good. Love it. Especially if you're sitting like this. <laughs> I still don't know how to use this ability, though. Alright, let's keep her going. I see that we have, like, two sides we can take here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take the right one. one Why not? One night when I was a kid, Grandma had a drink and let me stay up late. Then she started telling me about when Strandville sank. It hmm. was just two days after Grandpa's death. Granny was upset and wanted to join the fight, but there was no one else to watch over Mom. So they took cover in Grandpa's greenhouse. They sat in there, looking through his hundreds and hundreds of notes and drawings, when something just... cracked. Granny said that it sounded like the earth broke in two. They must have been so scared. Wow. Man, the stories that we're getting here, I love it. Alright, we do have an island over here that I should have went and checked, so let me go ahead and see what this is all about. There might be something on this one, though. I'm not sure. So if I'm looking on the distance, uh, I don't really see anything on it, but we do have the slide that we can use. Yeah, unfortunately there's nothing on it. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna use the slide and keep on going then. There's so many of these lines that we can grab. Love it. There's kind of different paths we can take. All right, let's go with this one. Uh, anything on that island? Uh, the answer is no. And but this place though is just so huge. 
triplets aren't too far, you should be able to spot them once you've passed the old cidery. What's a cidery? Is this uh, the one? Your mother actually worked there for a couple of summers before hmm. she... They pressed apples from the Kipson farm, made the best cider around here, a sweetness that set your mouth at tingling. Apples? Are those the orange ones? No, Shrimpy. That's an orange. So what color... <laughs> Doesn't matter. We ain't going to eat one again, anyways. Uh huh. So they used to make cider red here shrimp. using apples. They were red. There you go, Grandma. All right. So the apples were red. <laughs> I love how she's calling me Shrimpy, though. It's such a good one. All right. Perfect. Man, we still have so long to go. I mean, look at this. We have like 1,000 meters to go Didn't still. You and Grandpa used to live there? We did. Is that where you met? No, but it's where we had our first date. <laughs> he was so nervous, the poor man. But he dared to ask you out. I asked him out, dear girl. Without me, we wouldn't even have gotten to first base. Grandma? <laughs> but that's how it was. Oh, I love it. Oh. Oh, no. oh, yes, I knew it, this creature. We definitely did not defeat it in the previous episode. It's still following us on the water. Oh! What do you want? What are those? What? Defeat the Striders. How? Oh, God. Oh my god, what are you talking about? How, how the heck am I supposed to defeat these things? Ah, there we go. That's how you do it. Awesome. Alright, let's try to take him out then. Ah, this is starting to get so much more interesting. I love it. Get out of here, buddy. Stop puking all the gloom around here. Better not tell Grandma about those things. She'd yeah, to she's gonna be very mad, of course. All right, so we got to this side. Uh, I'm guessing that's where I'm supposed to get eventually. But before I do that, let me just check this small island on this side for a second. I want to see if I can find something on it. Keep in mind, I'm still looking for Jack's axe. Hmm. And we made it. I love that we have the ability to just grapple on things and uh, bring them to us as we're flying. It's really good. I see that we're going to be able to turn on the power with this, uh, but I guess not yet. So we are going to have to come back here later on. For now, we got to keep on going. All right, you know what? Let me make my way towards the main mission, and probably then we're going to know that we're going to have to come back to all these islands and turn them on or something like that. Get to the main island. Yep, I know, I know. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Alright, there we go. Hey, what are you doing? Hmm, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. For what? Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> the monster. What is he doing? I think he's looking for us, right? Yeah, he was definitely searching for us. Ugh. For that, my uncle sent me to activate the spark caster at the top of the island. He thought that the monster wouldn't notice a small kid. But I, I just can do it. Can you help? <sighs> of course I'll try. Well, there's a generator here in the gloom out there. If you activate it, you should be able to get to the castle. Hmm, alright buddy. So first of all, we gotta turn this on, of course. Let's open up the gate. Oh god! Come on! I keep on messing up a lot. Get out of here! There we go. Alright, alright. Right. Let's get rid of all this stuff, because I don't want these monsters spawning in anymore. I wish I could actually... 
destroy these in a different way. Uh, hold up, I think I have one on the other side of the wall, but I think I can take them both out. There we go. Is there any more? Yep, it's one right here. Get out and get out. Perfect. So. Hmm. Oh, I think I see it right over here. So this one is on. The enemies are on this side that we gotta take out. Perfect. We got one more on this side. Come on, buddy. There we go. Um. Get out of here. Oh, dang it. I love that the health, though, is kind of going back. If you're not taking any more hits, you're definitely going to get your health back. Which is great. Uh, I do want to try to keep on climbing here because I feel like that's what I'm supposed supposed to do. Yeah, look at that. We can definitely make it all the way to the top. I do see another lever here. Hmm. And I do see somebody that we're supposed to help up on this bridge. Hey, buddy. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta get away from here. But something, something. I didn't manage to read what he was saying. I don't know why that got deactivated, though. I was trying to chat with her a little bit more. Uh, let's see what this is, though. Can I? It's not allow me. I think that's because I am on this bridge. Uh, let's check. So, we just unlocked two persons. We got Jonathan, a young kid who knows everything about the spark casters in the triplet. He seems impressed with my sparknet skills. I wonder if I would have made a good big sister. <laughs> and then we got Edda. Uh, she dreams of getting away from Strandoville but doesn't know how. She has no choice but to stay in Strandville like the rest of us, with the ever-looming gloom fog and cycling our islands. Alright. So I think we gotta make our way inside here. But first, let me grab more of these energies. And next up, I'm gonna make my way inside this thing. But first, let's see, what do we got here? Can I turn this one on? No, I think first of all, I'm supposed to turn on the power from the inside and then make my way to the top. Get out of here. Oh God. And it is done. Perfect. Oh, it does, it does look like we can go even deeper though. Hmm, hold up, let me get rid of this and this. I don't think it's mandatory to get rid of all these uh, gloom dots that we keep on finding. Uh, all we gotta do is just get rid of at least the monsters, I guess. Right, this one's gonna be on. Oh, he's back! Get the freak out of here, buddy! What do you keep on wanting from me? He's gonna stay up there now. I think he is. Oh! He tried to freaking block me! Are you kidding me? Come on, come on. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. I have a feeling this is where I'm gonna also be able to defeat him eventually. Come on. And we made it. Perfect. Right, we got to another section. I have a feeling I gotta jump on top of his head or something like that. I don't know. Ooh. Get out of here. There we go. He's changing positions. But I gotta pay attention because he's gonna try to uh, glue me here. I think I'm gonna be safe if I see behind this, but... No! Dang it! Dude, get out of here! Oh, God, no! You're not gonna glue me, buddy. Get out of here! <laughs> oh, God. Jesus! This is starting to get a little bit more complicated by the looks of it. All right, let me grab these ones and keep on running. He is trying to block this off, but he cannot because of the uh, fence, of course. Ah, there we go. We shot him in one of his eyes. But I think we gotta do with each one of his eyes in order to defeat him. At the moment, he just went underwater, but I'm pretty sure he's not done. Take that, you ugly maggot. <laughs> Whoa, that was amazing. I wish I could help you with something. 
Well, I actually need to transmit sparks back to the night orchard. My grandmother runs the lighthouse. We need to push back the fog. Hmm, do you know where your spark tank is placed? Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, it's not really far from here at all. I'll mark it on the map. When I grow up, I want to be whatever it is that you are. <laughs> Alright, buddy. So, he actually marked it down on the map by the looks of it, and it's going to be straight up ahead. Whoa, look at that tower. It's got like a hand. Huh. Hold up, before I'm going to go to the next section, though, there's a lot of sparks around here that I want to keep on collecting. Let me grab this one. Let me also free up whoever this is. Ooh, Kupernika. Interesting. So we got somebody uh, released here. Kopernika Magia. She tells me she used to be a psychiatrist, but after the city sank, there wasn't much interest in her services. She helps out at the locomotive workshop when needed, but aspires to be a magician. Yeah, I was surprised at the last part too. <laughs> Hold up, I want to try to climb back up though, because I saw more sparks. So we got that. And this one. Perfect. And other than this... I think I gotta keep on going towards the mission yet. Oh! What? For a second there, I thought he's gonna come out. I think that was just a spot that usually activates the monster coming out of the water. But since we defeated him once, uh, he's not gonna come out. At least not yet. Alright, let's keep on going. Can I please dive in the water? Hmm. Yeah, fortunately, it doesn't really work every single time, eh? So, before I'm going to activate this one, let me go into the shop for a second and see if we can get ourselves something more interesting. I mean, so far, I'm really, really happy with the outfit that we got. Hey, what do you do with a stick boat? Take it to the dock. <laughs> Alright. So, what does he got next? Hmm. Stripes outfit. Not that bad. It kind of looks like a sailor outfit, but I still like the one that I have on. Uh, we got the jelly cone. Hmm. I really don't want to replace it with the ears. And hold up, we got the embers hair and the sparks at night dye hair. Hmm. It's like a glow in the dark one. And the purple rain dye. Yeah, I really don't want to change the hair. At the moment, it seems like we're only getting different dyes for the hair and a crab hat. <laughs> okay. Nothing really that impressive. Oh, this one looks really cool. A random hat. Although it's more like a hair. Skull and a gum board. Alright, I'm not gonna change it yet though, because I still like the one that I have on. Alright, buddy. Hmm. Oh, hi there. I need to use the tank to transmit some spark if you don't mind. What? What, what, are you, what are you even? Uh, what gives you the authority to do that? Oh, I'm the head mechanic at the lighthouse. I work directly on the Doris's uh, Skagrak. Mm. She's requested extra power to the lighthouse to push back the gloom fog. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mrs. Skagrak, huh? Hmm. Well, you should have started with that. Unfortunately, this thing's empty. You'll need to fill it up first. Ah. Yeah, don't worry. I'm a trained professional. I take care of it. Huh. All right, so we got to go ahead and uh, try to fill up this thing. First, let me grab more sparks. And let's see who this person is as well. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh love. Such a knight in shiny armor. With the ocean as your steed, I don't even want to know how you chased off that thing. I'm just overjoyed that you did it. If only you had been here sooner before that monster scared them off. Scared who off? My, my sweet legs, my little tail waggers, I took to the waters, all three of them, horrified by the monstrosity. Ugh. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I hope they're okay. Mm. Yeah, they must be so scared. And what if they're cold? They're not used to staying outside for long. And I can't do anything with these poor legs. I have bad joints, you know. I just can't go look for them. Oh, what if they run even further off while we speak? Mm. Oh, I guess you want me to look for them? <laughs> oh, I could never ask for something like that, but now that you're so kindly offering it, then... Yes? <laughs> Alright, so apparently she wants me to find lost dogs. Seriously? Three of them? Hmm. I'm definitely gonna try to do that, but for now... Let me see if I can get myself more of this. And also make my way underwater. 
All right, let's do this. So first of all, we got to turn on the power on this thing so that we can start bouncing on this. Look at that. Hold up, before I do anything, let me check on this side real fast. Although I don't really see anything there, though. Actually, there is. Never mind. There we go. What about at the bottom? Um, nothing at the bottom here. Never mind. I love how we interact with the waves whenever they're coming by. That is so cool. Alright, let me get back up. If I'm gonna be able to. Come on, buddy. There we go. And keep on climbing up. Ooh, who is this? Oh, oh my god, I'm alive. I'm very much truly still alive. Ah. Oh, my stars. The thing I saw in there, it's suddenly so clear, you know, how precious life is and love. It's time. I put this off for way too long. Tonight, Big Sasius is proposing. <laughs> Alas, I have no ring, but this must be done in the proper way. Girl, with your young legs and that marvelous net, surely can find something for me? I'm not from this area. I'm only here to visit my boyfriend, but you'll help me, right? Oh, uh, find an engagement ring. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Alright, buddy. I guess I'll try and do my best. Uh, let's just see what we can find right here. So first of all, we gotta turn this on. I think I hear a monster really close by. Ooh, hold up. No! Dang it, I didn't want to fall down. There are so many things right here and collectibles that you can get that it's kind of easy to get lost, tell the truth. Grab that. We can also grab this. I mean, look at this. We're already up to 300 sparks. Alright, and I think I already see the energy that I'm supposed to activate next. But first... There we go. Let's grab this. Let's also grab a little bit of this. I see the energy going in here, though. Oh, I think this hatch might actually open at one point if I bring more energy. So let me try to do just that by activating this thing. Oh my god, these things are humongous. I wish there was like a drop kick I could do to these creatures. Get out of here, dude. And you're done. <laughs> All right. So next up, I got to activate this. Ah, it's now going to bounce me even higher because we opened up the trap. I get it. All right. Well, with that done, um, hmm. Let's see here. Let me first of all grab all this energy. And next up, let me see if that hatch opened up. I'm really curious. Yeah, unfortunately this hatch is not really opening up. I wish that it would so I could go inside and maybe find something inside there. Hmm. Alright, anyway, in that case, let me use the bounce pad again and try to get even higher. There we go. Get out of here. Bugs? Oh, God. And ultimately, we got to activate this one to go even higher. Perfect. Man, riding on these things feels so good, though. I love it. And ultimately, this one. Oh, do you want to allow me to go even higher? Huh. Interesting. Now, I still haven't found anything, though. Any, engage any engagement ring or anything. So, I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do. But, let me just bounce on this thing again and see where it's going to take me to. Whoa. So high up. Right. Uh, there's another one here. Perfect. Oh, there's one energy. That's what I was looking for. Come here, buddy. All right, so we got one. We got to find one more, though, somewhere. Oh, and other than this, I think that is kind of about everything that we have to do here. 
All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm pretty sure we're also going to have to go to that factory eventually. But first, let me make my way towards the mission, try to activate this, and maybe then we're going to go to the factory. Oh, man, come on. Just dive in the water. For some reason, it doesn't really work every single time to dive in the water. I don't know why. It should definitely activate every single time we're above it. 